Hello beautiful people, Shane here. Um, guys, I did it again. I screwed up an unboxing. I don't know why. This only happens on unboxings, but uh, filmed the whole thing and realized that at some point in time my camera had flipped around. So it filmed in, you know, photograph mode. I, I don't know why it does that. But uh, anyway, screwed up the unboxing. But what I got was, um, I got a package in the mail today from Mr. Brandon Maples. You guys have seen him in the chat. He had reached out to me and asked me for my address. I knew he was sending me something. I didn't know what. And um, Brandon gifted me this TRM. Um, in case you guys want to know, I unboxed it with my American Blade Works Model 1 version 6. Um, however, you know, that footage is ruined. Um, so let's talk about what I got here. Hang on. First of all, I want to talk about something, guys. Um, this community is just absolutely mind-blowing in how charitable and giving it is and guys there are times that that i i feel guilty i feel like it's too much i've never asked anybody for anything um and i've been gifted so much by so many different people in this community that it i mean i, I get emotional thinking about it um and just so that you know some of you already do but i just want to kind of explain my situation a little bit um Guys, in the past year, I've dealt with uh, I've dealt with cancer and surgery to remove my kidney because of that, and I've had a quadruple bypass and a heart attack, and nearly died of COVID. It, it's been a rough few years, but long story short, it's uh it's deprived me of the ability to work. And now that I'm on a fixed income, I spent over a year with zero income. Now that I'm on a fixed income, guys, when I get to purchase a knife, it's a very special thing to me it's a special event so that makes when i'm gifted a knife even more special because the reason i don't already own a trm is because i can't i can't afford it um from june of 2021 to june of 2022 which is from one blade show to another i purchased one knife in that entire year it was an 80 dollar qsp pelican that i bought from tri-state edc I've since uh, gifted that knife. I donated it to the Jason Brown uh, charity raffle that was on uh, My Bad Adventures. He had a little uh, charity auction going on on a live of his. Um, so I no longer own that knife. But anyway, I just wanted to, to get the point across that I can't just run out and buy just anything. Um, so when I'm gifted something, it really means a lot to me. You know, uh, many of you know the story of what I did in order to raise the funds. To be able to purchase this knife at blade show this and a couple more um it's kind of a funny story i'm not going to get into it on here but uh but yeah knives new knives for me are few and far between so let's see what we got here i'm not going to try to lie and make this authentic i've already unboxed it i took it out of the plastic like i said the video the footage is ruined so here we are um guys i've done a review before on the Terrier, madam, and no, I'm not going to thumb flick it because I can't. You already know that. It's embarrassing, but whatever. I can't do it. Uh, my hands are just too jacked up. Like I said, I've already done a review on this knife before. Um, most of you are already familiar with the Adam and how great a knife it is, how great a slicer it is. It is a light duty cutter. Um, I wouldn't consider this a work knife or a heavy duty knife by any means. Um, would I take it into the woods to go hunting? Sure, I wouldn't have an issue at all with, with caping field dressing an animal with this. Um, however, it's not something you're gonna be able to baton with and pry with. That, that's not what it's meant to be, and that's fine. Um, they set out to make a good cutter, and they did a great job of it. And here's a fine example for you. This is a Spyderco Delica. Everybody's familiar with how thin a blade stock the Delica has. Um, it's a much smaller knife than the, than the Atom, as you can see there. But, I don't have mites, because you guys know I don't do all that. There's plenty of channels out there you can see it's that specs. The blade stock thinness is about the same. It's a lot, much larger knife with a very thin blade. Um, so, what does that make this knife good for? Well, it makes it really good at one thing, and that's cutting, um, slicing. It, it's just, it's a very good cutter. It is a cutting tool, so that's really what matters. Um... TRMs come very sharp out of the box. I don't know if this edge has ever been touched or not. It is very sh sharp right now. Feels like it could probably use a little stropping. That's fine. Um, 
you know, there are some very reputable knife makers out there that I'm a big fan of that I wish wouldn't sharpen them at all because uh, they do a horrible job. Terium is not one of those. They do a great job sharpening their knives. Um, another great thing about TRM and a great thing about this gift is that TRM, as far as I know, was one of the first companies to design their knives where all you had to do is take these two screws out and you could change the scales. Um, you can literally have a different looking knife every day. So, and this knife came with a set of black G10 scales, it came with those green micarta scales, and it comes with some natural micarta scales. So not only did I get a knife, I got two sets of scales to go with it. That's, that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. I'm really looking forward to this. These look a lot like my shaman scales. These are exact same color natural micarta. Um, it's not that slick, plasticky feeling junk like uh, Civivi was using. I don't know what they're using now, but this is good stuff. Excited about that. Um, you know, I, I'm excited about owning another American-made product, an American-made knife. Um, guys, this is proof that if you want to be a knife maker, if you want to call yourself a knife maker, then make a damn knife. Um, you know, that's what they did here. They, you know, the... Uh, Marianne and her husband already owned a titanium company where they make titanium products. They thought, you know what, let's get into pocket knives. They made them. They made a very good one. Um, you know, back to my unboxing knife, the American Blade Works, Mr. Michael Martin makes these knives in his, in his, you know, the shop by his house. Um, the whole company, American Blade Works, is Michael Martin and his wife. Um, I understand TRM's a little bit bigger. They also put out more knives, even though it's still hard to get your hands on them. But um, guys, this is this is a, the success story. This is not somebody who drew a knife and commissioned a uh, a Chinese company to make it and call themselves a knife maker. These are knife makers. These are people who make, who design, make, and distribute knives themselves, all right here in America, um, with American-made materials. And these knives are almost identical in price. Um, Two hundred bucks. You know, is $200 a lot of money for a pocket knife? I, that completely depends on your budget. It's a lot of money for a pocket knife for me. However, the majority of the knives I own are in this $200 price range because that tends to be where the knives that I like um, and American-made knives tend to fall until you start getting into the more fancy stuff. But uh, this is where I'm happy at. I, I enjoy this price range. I enjoy... Uh, be proud that I'm supporting an American company and uh, you know if you don't put any if you don't put any pride into that or that doesn't mean anything to you then I mean I get it uh, you know that that's fine but uh, this is where this is where my heart's at and where I hope it always stays um, you know I, I ran into I was at Smoky Mountain Knife Works Fall Fest today ran into Mr. Vu Fam from Kaiser what an awesome guy, man. He's a super nice dude. You know, um, I don't have problems, but you know, being, being friendly with Vu, I don't have a problem with, with, uh, checking out a Kaiser knife and telling you if it's any good or not, because they do make some good knives. I just don't care because this is what I do. Um, so yeah, if you get the opportunity to, uh, you know, even if you have to save up and purchase yourself your first American made knife, Either one of these are a great option, um, you know, or, you know, for a little less money, you can get a Spyderco. Um, there's plenty of, plenty of stuff out there from the 130 to, uh, you know, to two, 220 price range that are excellent. So, uh, and I think, I think you'll be happy. I, I think, and I hope that you feel that pride of ownership and buying something American. So anyway, once again, Brandon Maples, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. This means the world to me. I truly appreciate it. Uh, Marianne at TRM, thank you for being the wonderful human being you are. Thank you for donating a TRM Adam to the Jason Brown raffle that EDC Roundtable is putting on. Um, you know, just great people, great companies. But anyway, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. Y'all know I appreciate any amount of time you spend with me. Peace. Love y'all.